Welcome to Wise Guys. Today's topic, profile, Kelly and Conway. So Kellyanne is a New Jersey girl. She is. She got her start on Blueberry Farms in New Jersey. This has Wes very excited. He thinks he knows her. Well, it's these New Jersey roots. So like, so she, for eight summers, she worked on these Blueberry Farms. She's from the Southern New Jersey, Camden area. And she went- That's the area close to Philly, right? Yep. She's, she was basically the, the New Jersey side of Philly. Um, she credits the Blueberry Farm with, with teaching her all the work ethic that yeah. she now has. And even when she was 16, she was Miss New Jersey Blueberry pageant winner. Which is really interesting because her Secret Service code name in the White House today is Blueberry. Kellyanne is currently the senior counselor to the president and also is basically on Steve Bannon's team, but holds a significant amount of influence sway. and sway over President Trump. Which is interesting because she was originally a supporter of Ted Cruz in the 2016 primary. And then only after did she switch over to the Trump campaign. No, exactly. And I mean, when we say switch over, it's one thing to just jump ships and throw your supportive flag or your flag of support for the other guy. Right. Uh, Kellyanne left after Ted Cruz dropped out of the race right. and effectively took over President Trump's campaign. In a big way. After, well, I mean, literally after yeah. Paul Manafort, who is in the news for a lot of other reasons today, right. after he was no longer campaign chairman, uh, Kellyanne took over and is the first woman to successfully lead a presidential election um, to victory. And she did a great job. Right. When she took over, Trump's numbers were not looking great. It was part of the reason why the Hillary campaign and team thought they really had it in the bag. And Kellyanne Conway, using skills she learned as a pollster, which is really what she right. is, was able to identify the area of the country that we've really talked about as Trumpsters. I wouldn't say she's a Trumpster, though. No, I mean, definitely if she worked on Cruz's campaign and just reviewing her resume and, you know, she went to, she went to George Washington University Law School. She had a clerkship in the Superior D.C. court. She went to work with Frank Luntz, a really notable Republican pollster. Yeah. She also worked with Mike Pence in the past. I would definitely put her more in the traditional movement conservative block, um, but I think you know after Cruz dropped out, you only had so many options. And exactly. the, the Republican Party, being a pretty wide uh, party in terms of political viewpoints, was in it. She jumped ship over to the Trumpsters. And I mean, for her, I think it was a great move. Great move. I, I would define her today as the most powerful woman in the country. I think yeah. she has incredible influence and sway over President Trump and. Uh, and equally importantly, I think Steve Bannon's a really big fan of her. Um, right. And we know that that, you know, Steve Bannon holds a certain level of influence over the president. Mm -hmm. And Kellyanne being his favorite, as well as President Trump's personal uh, like of her is... And Pence. Uh, I mean, of course. she was actually kind of a lock for the job, really, I guess. Yeah, if now that we're looking about backwards it. Exactly. on it. And um, the other thing you have to think about is how she reacts under fire on a lot of these talk shows. Incredible. I mean, Steve Bannon has defined her as able to stand in the trenches and take fire all day long. I have to agree. Right. She is getting plummeted with questions about, you know, the people. Literally, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's, you know, it's not easy being the one who has to clarify exactly what the president meant. At especially, 3 not, especially not President Trump. Right. Well, that's exactly right. what I'm talking about, right? Like, no other president really had the 3 a.m. tweets to worry about. Right. Kellyanne deals with all of those tweets, somehow makes people believe that she, or I don't know if she makes people believe, but she doesn't give away anything too bad. She's had two critical slip well, ups in my mind, right? Yeah. And beyond, before we even get to those, I mean, I think all she's doing is really explaining. Like, she's an explainer. Yeah. And I think that's key, especially when you have a president like Trump. I mean, I think that uh, what she does, explaining is definitely a part of it. I think that her real gift is never conceding. I think that's really critical is that she gets pushed and pushed and pushed off into the three people just reading mm -hmm. facts at her, right? Reading yeah. tweets and facts and things and her taking it, listening, being polite and respectful and responding in the equal tone. Maybe right. not with the same level of facts and accuracy right then and there, right. but she always follows up with them down the line. Yeah. And I mean, two slip ups for the number of things she's done. One of them she doesn't even define as a slip up. I think her two biggest errors on these interviews so far have been the fake news and alternative facts that stemmed out of alternative facts are 
the thing she said, she was uh, getting asked about the inaugural size that President Trump had claimed his inauguration of the largest size. Mm-hmm. And he said they were looking at alternative. She said they were looking at alternative facts. Right. She meant alternative interpretations or something like that. But of course, that was a really easy thing for the Democrats mm-hmm. to latch onto. The Bowling Green. Second, and a little worse in my mind, uh, is the Bowling Green massacre in Kentucky, which just didn't happen. I mean, this was just a mistake, but the woman takes it all, you know, like right. she's just handling it so much with the amount of inter. inter- views and interrogations she's having right. and a I, slip up's gonna happen i really i really believe that her strength is that she's really if you if you're honest with yourself like they're against you know most of the media is against trump so she's kind of has the deck stack whether or not trump. it's for good reason is a different question i do right. agree most of them are against right. trump. Yeah. whether whether they you know for good reason for good or bad you know they don't like trump they don't like the trump campaign they don't like the trump presidency so she's really has to fight on the opponent's ground on a lot of this and she does a good job making she's good sure at job. she's making sure that the viewer understands the Trump administration's point of view, which a lot of times just doesn't get a fair crack. I think I, I definitely agree, and I mean I think her biggest the campaign and leading the campaign to victory was critical and shows exactly her background in polling. But she polled in a certain way. She started her own company called the Polling Company, and this company was really well known for being able to take questions and ideas that everyone thought there was kind of already an established right answer to and she would put a new interpretation a new spin on it mm-hmm. and i'd say spin is what she's just phenomenal at and i think that was most critical is when the video um or recording of president trump and his uh, interaction with women especially mm-hmm. as he feels like a celebrity i think her role as a high-ranking female in the campaign along with ivanka trump really did a lot of work in keeping support behind the president and electing him ultimately. Right. Um, she's been phenomenal at her job. She's incredibly likely to stay in this level of influence and sway in my mind. I don't I don't really see it diminishing. I can't imagine that President Trump's that upset with her for anything. Um, We're not surprised that Trump decided to keep her on because yeah. there was a there was a minute there where she might have been might have been leaving but she decided to accept the position. Originally, there was a conversation about her being the uh, White House press secretary, which, you know, makes sense considering I think her strength that's, is that's her responding strength. to people. Yeah. Right. Um, but I, she wanted more and wasn't willing to take it. And the Trump administration gave her what she wanted. I mean, she's a smart move. Yeah, she has incredible access, incredible policy value, and is actually pulling back from the TV interviews because, in her own words, no one can explain the president as well as he does. Right really really strategic rhetoric and really smart i think she's right you know um if i was president trump i would not want to run in 2020 without kellyanne conway could you agree absolutely thank you guys for watching this is the wise guys and as always get in touch with us via gmail or twitter